This is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kadash, Barak Dum, to use a quantum. You know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, and giving diligence, making your call it an election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh while Yahweh Shai in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pashai Ban Yahshua, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and probably how about Shema Shai. You know, basically going to this parable of the fig tree, you know, and how Lord Yahweh Shai is about to return soon. You know, it's a lot of signs at the times going on. You know, there's a whole bunch of earthquakes going on. You know what I'm saying? It's from the time period of, uh, I believe it's at September 17th, all the way up to right now. You know, um, 4.3 magnitudes, you know, um, 7.0 magnitude earthquakes. You know, a lot of things going on in Australia, you know, upwards of the people. You know, so we're, we're approaching that time, man. Our Lord about to return. Brothers getting dreams, you know, seeing our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, and all type of stuff. So... We're, we're here, man. You know, we're getting real close. It's at the doors. And like the Lord said in Matthew, the 24th chapter, you know, he said, uh, let's read it again. Matthew 24, verse 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree, you know, uh, and, you know, the background, this is not an actual fig tree, but, you know, I'm using it as representat a representation of it, you know, the fig tree, like a tree, right? It says, when its branches are tender and put it full of leaves, you know that summer is not. You know, so that's how you know summer is nigh. You know, um, during around the springtime, which is uh, the, um, the actual beginning of the year, that's when you know the leaves start going back on the trees again. Everything starts blossoming and blooming. That's how you know summer is approaching. You know, in the time that we're in right now, you know, when you see the leaves falling off the trees, you know, we know that winter is approaching because we, you know, enter that, enter, enter into that fall time. You know, all the leaves fall off the trees, stuff like that. Then we, you know, winter's around the corner. You see that? So that shows you what it's a parable. You know, that when you see these different signs, you know, the earthquakes, the uproars, the famines, because a lot of, you know, food, food shortages going on right now as we speak. A lot of fuel shortages. You know, we got nation rising against nation. You know, World War III about to pop off um, a certain country. I, I forgot what country it was. Right. Basically said how um, Australia, you know, is like, you know, um, zone for nuclear attack. Something along those lines. Like they looking at Australia to hit with a nuclear bomb. And Australia and America is allies. You know what I'm saying? So we know it's about to go down, man. World War III about to pop off. You see? So these are all different signs that's going on. So the pair of the fig tree, that when we see these things coming, we ha we know without a shadow of a doubt, our Lord about to return, man. You know, it's close even at the doors. You know? So let's read it one more time from the top. Matthew 24, and verse 32. And it says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when its branches are tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when you shall see all these things, what things are signs? I'm gonna start up some, right? I'm gonna start from the from the top, honestly. I have to read the precept, right? Because what, what are the things our Lord is referring to? I'm gonna read it. It says, know that it is near even at the doors, right? So if something is near and is at the doors, like if, say if you order some food and they say I'm at the door, it's here. You know, he's not around the corner. You know what I'm saying? He's not um, up the block. You know, he's not five minutes away. He's there. You know, so when you see these things happening, just know our Lord about to return very, very soon. I mean, he's here, man. You see, it's about to be that time. All right, because the things, the, the, um, the signs are here. I'll say it like that. But let's read Matthew 24, verse 1. And it says, And, and Yahushua went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him for to shoot him the buildings of the temple. And Yahushua said unto them, See not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another. That shall not be thrown down, and it happened during 70 AD. And even today, you know, like Malachi, the um, first chapter, and I believe will die as well. You know, um, basically, look all these skyscrapers, these buildings, all, all this will get thrown down when our Lord come back. All of this, man. All in America, of course, America will be destroyed, and other parts of the world, different countries, you know, things that got built up, the concrete, all that I gotta go. You know, especially over there in the land of Israel, you know, the Holy Land. All that I gotta go, man. You know, everything that got built up over there, you know, is come is gonna um, come crashing down. You know, then we have the heathens, you know, build it up in gold and amethyst and precious stones and metals. You know, we, we're going to be ruling, man. You know, but let's read on down. So all this going to get thrown down, you know, the thermonuclear fire, you know. But our Lord was, was referring to 70 AD 
you know, when he destroyed the temple, right? So it says, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Whose world? Esau's world. Pursuant to second, early six chapter verse nine, Esau's the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau, your world is coming to an end. Your society, the way you govern and run things and wickedness is coming to an end, right? And it said, they asked, you know, the signs of his second coming. Now, we, you know, our Lord will break it down, right? Verse four, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I am anointed and shall deceive many. A lot of false prophets out here, you know? You go, you know, the, you know these local Christian pastors, they false prophets. You know what I'm saying? Even some jakes that's in the truth that know the Israelites, a lot of them are false prophets, man. You know, teaching nothing but folly and madness, you know? And that's what scripture says, you know what? You're going to know them by their fruits, right? So we can't get deceived. And guess what? The elect can't get deceived, man. You know, scripture say what? If it were possible, they should, they should um, shall deceive the very elect. But guess what? It's not possible because no man can pluck the elect out of the Heavenly Father's hands, out of Yahweh Shai's hands as well. Let's read on down. Verse 6, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Like I just mentioned, um, one of the brothers, the brother um GMS Salt Ba, I forgot the brother's name, but he did a lesson on it, you know, I believe yesterday or um not too long ago, but he did a lesson on it, you know, basically going to how uh uh basically Australia is like um zone for like nuclear attack. Like a country is talking about hitting Australia with some nuclear missiles, man. I forgot the what country it is, but the brother went into it, you know, how the third world come in quickly, rumors of wars. And this war can be fought with nuclear arsenal, nuclear missiles. It's not going to be fought with just, you know, um, sticks and stones and guns and, you know, and tanks and grenades. No, it's going to be fought with nuclear missiles, man. ICBMs, you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? And hypersonic as well. That could come from one um, side of the world to the other in 15 minutes. You see that? It's real down. It says, see that you be not troubled. So you're not supposed to be troubled by these things. Don't be afraid of these things, right? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So all that's got to come to pass, the rumors of wars, right? He can go more um, further into it, our Lord. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation. That's race wars, you know, nation against nation, you know? And that's, you know, we see all that was going on in 2020. And it's been going on, you know, for a long time. But it's going to get, you know, really amped up to the point where you're going to see a lot of Proud Boys, white supremacists, you know what I'm saying, versus the Black Lives Matter, quote unquote. You know, you're going to see a lot of, um... Arabs and um, like I would say Ishmaelites, Moabites, you know, a lot of people gonna flee to their own, you know, and, and you know, um, like the scripture say that too. They're gonna try to flee, everyone will flee to their own people and try to flee to their own country, you know, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, you know, because there's gonna be a lot of race wars going on, man. You know, so scripture say what one people shall stand to fight, to fight against another with swords in their hands, which is um, the modern day sword is a gun. That's the second, or the 15th chapter, and I believe verse 14 on down. Let's read on down. It says, and kingdom against kingdom, that's World War Three. kingdom against kingdom, right? And there shall be famines, food shortages, and extreme scarcity of food and water, and pestilences, diseases, viruses out here, right? Which now, this whole, this whole see on the weather was, you know, uh, a scam, but what they're doing is they putting, they really injecting you with a virus, you know, with the juice, you know, they're injecting you with something now, because that's why they say the people that got it are more likely to spread it, you know, and all this stuff like that. Man, they gave you the thing, man. They created some, they fabricated some shit that was like, like, like a flu. You know what I'm saying? Because now, guess what? There's no such thing as a flu no more. You know, no one, you, you get sick and you coughing over that seat. You know, that, that's, that's the, um, the vid. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not um, the regular flu no more. You know? And, and, and this crack scene is the, um, the actual um, seat on the webbing, man. You know, the actual virus itself. So people that are taking that, man, it's, you, you're, gonna, you're, you're getting it. Right, let's read on down. Let's read on down. It says, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, um, it's a page called Jason A. You know, I may post a link to that video in the description box below. Right, you know, he always posts some good content when it comes to like signs of the times. You know, and he posted a video of biblical earthquakes worldwide. And that's when I was referring to earlier, man. Earthquakes, you know, happened September 17th, 2021, so on and so forth, all around the world, man. In Melbourne, Australia, it was, oh, I think, another one in, um, Kansas, if I'm not mistaken, I gotta rewatch the video. I can't remember exactly where all the earthquakes was happening, but you know, these are different signs, man. You know, the, the scriptures talk about how the Heavenly Father is gonna visit the world which he made. And it says in diverse places. So you're gonna have famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places all around the world, right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. All are just the beginning. All right, let's read on down. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So they're gonna deliver up the elect, the prophets, the men of the Lord, to be afflicted, right? 
because um the persecution is coming as well so that's another thing to look forward to and it's gonna happen soon because you know esau you know he's not low you know he's been mentioning us in different meetings you know they know us by name now you got creepy joe saying the goals for every israel i mean every adult they they talk about us man you know i believe one of the um governors or senators or whatever the case said maxine said he watched the videos you know i can't remember exactly who but i know it's a lady but she said maxine instead of you know the v so she watched because we the only ones that say that you know what i'm saying we, in our video because we speaking in code so you're starting to watch our videos and they know what we're, what we're referring to when we say maxine that's what recently the um youtube coming up with a way to remove all videos and they're gonna crack down on um any um content that's talking to, um about the, the you know the crack scene you know and, and even if they don't say the word crack scene there's an article like that i'm gonna have to find it as well you may do a separate lesson on that little willing but basically brothers that say crack scene uh, Maxine, you know, Vanessa, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the Juicy Fruit, you know, they're going to know what we're referring to. They're going to take down the videos from here on out. So the family, the, family, the words of the Lord is around the corner as well. You know, so the persecution is coming, all that, right? So it says, then shall they, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and, and shall kill you. Someone's going to be martyrs. I went to this last night. Don't be afraid of death because, you know, we got to believe in the resurrection of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and how um, those that sleep in Yahweh Shai, the Lord going to bring with them. You know, so don't be afraid to get killed for this, man. You see that? It says, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. We're going to be the limelight, man. You know, those that's in this truth, those that believe in Yahweh Bashim al those that fear Yahweh Bashim al we're going to be hated by everybody, all nations, even our own, right? And then shall many be offended. So during that time, people will get offended at one another. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to say, right? And shall betray one another. People will get betrayed, you know, by people close to them, people they thought they could trust. You know, it's going to happen. And shall hate one another. People going to hate one another, right? And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. More false prophets are going to start coming up. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because sin upon sin, that's iniquity. Sin upon sin, or hell breaking loose, the love of many going to wax cold. Right? So this, you know, around the time of Jacob's trouble, the persecution, when he's trying to grab us all up. You see? Let's read on down. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So to get saved, you have to endure until the end. None of us are saved already. We have to endure to get saved, man. And don't hold to the light of end, believe in the Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's read on down. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this is that gospel that's getting preached. Because guess what? Islam, Christianity, um, Buddhism, you know, I go so on, on and on and on. The top religions have been already reached the four corners. Millions upon billions of followers. So why didn't the end come yet? Because that's not the truth. This gospel started springing, but Elder Abba Bivens was, 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 you know, the prophet Elijah back, John the Baptist back in 19, what, 69, 1970, you know, all the way up to now, you know what I'm saying, without elders and apostles, you see that? So this truth now is reaching the four corners because of the internet, you know, I, I believe our elders got on the internet in 2007, you know, before our elders, you know, we even had Bishop Nate on the internet on YouTube, and I believe some other, um, another camp, I can't remember, you know what I'm saying, but... Once it, once it hit the internet, this thing blew up, man. And, it, and you got brothers in Italy, brothers in Spain, brothers in Arabia, brothers all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Hearing his word now because of the internet. That's what Heavenly Father created you to. It's a two-edged sword. You have, you know, information coming out um, um, about this devil's plans and all of that, man. When I ever first learned about the Illuminati and secret society, it's because of YouTube. <laughs> you see, that's so the Lord used YouTube. The Lord allowed Esau to come, come with the internet and all of that. You know, and they thinking YouTube is going to be about cat videos and, and you know, yo-yos. No, it was the Lord used it to, you know, spread this truth, this gospel. You see that? So this thing has reached the four corners of the earth. So now that it reached all nations, why do you think the end, you can see it right now, the end is manifesting. See the pair of the fig tree, man. We see all these things coming to pass. We know that it's here, man. It's, it's at the doors. So the end is about to come, man. The end of this man's world. You see, let's read on down. Verse 15, Matthew 24, verse 15. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them just go into 70 AD, but 70 AD will happen all over again, right? Because during 70 AD, it was the siege of Jerusalem, the Romans, you know, and it, you know, it was tearing us up, right? So our Lord is prophesying, letting them know what to do during that time. You know, even in this day and age, you know, when all hosts are breaking loose, the brothers are going to have to be pilgrims, you know? And forsake, and forsake things, forsake the, you know, the items, you know, you know, certain clothing, whatever, your possessions. You got to forsake some stuff. Let's read it. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains, which happened. You know, our people was fleeing to different parts of Africa, mainly on the west, west side and stuff like that. Right. In neighboring countries around. Right. 
Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, that they have to forsake possessions. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, right? Those that got newborns, those that have children, right? That's what the Lord said, woe unto them. So if you're not in this truth, you know, you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim El Shai, and you don't have faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you're through, you and your kids. You see that? It's that simple. That's what the Lord is saying. This is the, this is the, um, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, His Son, Yahweh Shai, the Lord. He's saying this. Verse 20. But pray that your flight be not in the winter. Because, you know, imagine you got to be on the run in this winter time. You know, when it's negative degrees outside. You know, you got to be on the run, going spot to spot. It's harder to move, man. Right? Neither on the Sabbath day, a day you're supposed to be resting. For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So there's going to be no day like this day, man. You see that? Let's read on down. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So if these days was not short, man, you know, Esau will kill everybody, man. This dude is putting chemtrails in the same air that he has to breathe. This dude is polluting the ocean. You know what I'm saying? This dude is polluting, polluting rivers. You know, we got to pay for water and all type of stuff. It's just wickedness, you know? Do you defile the food, you know, seedless fruits? All of this is abominations, man. You know, and now he's, you know, now he's enforcing this crack scene upon everybody and so on and so forth, man. If, if the days was not shortened, you know, no one would be saved, man, because this man would kill everybody, including himself. You know, you're talking about Bill Gates talking about blocking out the sun. Like, what are these, what are these dudes talking about? These devils, man. Right. So it says, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, for the elect of the nation Israel, those days should be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here. It's a Mashiach or there, believe it not. So, you know, during that time, there's gonna be a lot of false prophets rising up saying, um, here's Hamashiach, you know, there's Hamashiach. That you know, that our Lord is back. He's you know, our Lord is right here, right? Our Lord Yahweh I said, don't believe them. For there shall arise false Hamashiachs, false Christ, you know, false anointed and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You see that? And you know Esau with his project, uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I don't know if it's project, it's not Project Megiddo, it's another project, Project um, Blue Beam. You know, Esau got technology where he could, you know, put like a hologram in a goddamn sky. You know, have everyone thinking it's a second coming, man. Don't believe it, because we, we won't know. When our Heavenly when our heavenly Father, Yahweh sent back his beloved son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, everyone will know, man. You're not going to have to, no one going to have to tell you, look, our Lord is back. <laughs> you know, we're going to look up and see. Everyone will be looking up. Right, whereas um, it said, and like I read, I quoted this earlier too. If it were possible, they should deceive the very elect, but you can't because that's not possible. Verse uh, 25 Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say to you, Behold, he is in a desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So you can't miss it, man. It's gonna be a sight you cannot miss when our Lord returns, you know. For whosoever the car, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Now let's read on down. Verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. So after all that tribulation, all hell breaking loose. You know what I'm saying? After 70 D all over again, Jacob's trouble, you know, famines and pestilences and earthquakes and rumors of wars and, and race wars and riots and class wars and gender wars. You know, after all of that, right? So immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. So you're going to have nuclear missiles going to start popping off, man. World War Three, you know, the sun will be dark and moon shall not give her light. The stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That's what you're going to see, our Lord, man. So you can't miss it. And then shall all the tribes, all the families, right, of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from, from one end of heaven to the other. So only the elect is making it. You know what I'm saying? No one else is making it. Only the elect of the nation of Israel will make it. So we want to be part of that number. Right? And the Lord said he will send his angels, man. You know? And, and you know, beam the elect up to these so-called UFOs, the chariots, the clouds. Right? Now watch this. Verse 32. This is the main point of the lesson. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When its branches yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. So everything I just read is near, is at the doors, man. You see that? 
Because the same way we could tell if, if it's about to rain by looking at the clouds and it is dark and it's gloomy, we know it's about to rain. You know, if we, the same way we could see the, the leaves falling off the trees, we know that fall is approaching. We was going to usher in the winter time. You know, we could discern that. You know, we should, we should be able to discern the times, man. That's what scripture say. what? Be on your watch. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. You see that? Watch and be, and be sober. You see? Let's be on down. So it says, Very last say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all till all these things be fulfilled. So that same generation that was uh, you know alive when our Lord was on the scene, they're back on the earth. They came back in the reincarnation. You see that? They ain't passed, man. Right? Verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Rulership and the earth will get renewed. Right? But of that day and hour know of no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So only the heavenly father, Yahweh, knows when he's going to send back his son. You know, but he gave us signs to, 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 um, to measure, to know when it's close. But no, we don't know the exact day. We don't know the exact month, week, hour, minute, or second. You see that? So let's read on down. It says, but as the days of Noah were, it says Noah, but it's talking about Noah. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving the marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You see that? Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, the other left. So only the elect is making it, right? Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Because you got men, women, and children getting delivered. Right? And now it says, watch therefore, for you for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. You see? I'm finished the whole chapter through. Right? Then I'll be the lesson, Lord willing. But know this, that the good man of the house, the good man of the house is Yahweh Shai, had known in what... Let me read a But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he will have watched and we have not suffered this house to be broken up. So basically be on your watch, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me so like, let me read that one more time from the top. I believe I misspoke. Uh, but know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, the good men represents, you know, basically us. You know what I'm saying? We, we're in the house, you know, and we have to watch for the thief. And our Lord is coming as a thief in the night. So if you're watching for that thief, you know what I'm saying? Your house is not going to get broken up. You see, so you got to bring your watch. So I misspoke. Let's read on down. So it says, but if but know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not suffer this house to be broken up. Therefore, be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man coming. So when you don't even expect it, that's when the Lord coming back. You see that? That's why, you know, everything's lining up to our Lord coming back real soon because look at the state of the people, man. They think things are going back to normal, you know, because they're getting juiced up and stuff like that. There is no normal, man. Esau bringing in his new world order. Let's read on down. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? You see that? Whom his Lord hath made a ruler over his household to give him to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant, that's us, started when the elders and apostles on down. Whom the Lord, whom whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. You know what I'm saying? Basically, um, the Lord made his ruler over his household. That's why we feed him the sheep, his lambs of sheep. That's how we know, that's how we show that we love him. You know, by feeding the land, feeding the sheep with these lessons, you know, doing the work, having faith. You see that? The scripture say what? You know, when our Lord returns, shall he find faith on the earth? You know, the elect don't have that faith. Right? So let's read it again. Matthew 24 and 45. Who then is a, is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made rule over his household to give them meat in, the, in due season? Blessed is that servant, and low will we endure, of course. You know, low will we continue doing his work, you know? But it says, Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. You see how you can have your order and your rank in the kingdom. But if that evil servant, which you have evil servants right now, shall say in his heart, my Lord, the life is coming. That's Jason felt the truth. You know, because the whole thing going on back then, which, I, you know, of course, I wasn't, you know, I was, a, I was like two years old, you know, but still I learned about it from the elders and apostles, different accounts, testimonies. They, you know, they brought up you know, the whole 2000 thing. You know, they thought it was coming in 2000. And after 2000, you had a lot of jakes from the 90s, man. Fell out the truth. They fell out. They Based in their mind, they said, the, our Lord, the late is coming. You know, even to this day, you got jakes, you know, coming to the truth, then they'll fall out. Because they say, they, in their heart, they're thinking our Lord is delaying his coming. Right? So it says, but, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the late is coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and, and to eat and to drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in the day when he looketh not for him, because he's not on his watch no more. And in the hour that he is not aware of, the Lord will cut, 
the Lord can catch him sleeping, can catch him lacking. You see that? And shall cut him asunder and appoint, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. They shall be weeping and gnashing the teeth. So you don't want to be part of that number, man. You don't want to be that evil servant that's saying, our Lord, the land is coming. Just, just continue being on your watch. Continue praying, fasting, doing his work, keeping the faith and enduring. You know what I'm saying? Our Lord is coming soon, man. You see that? As a matter of fact, I'm going to get Joel 2 and verse. I'm ending up with this. Joel 2 and verse uh, 28. Right, because I did mention how you know brothers are getting different dreams as well and stuff like that, but it's another point I want to bring out in this. But let's read it. Joel 2 and 28, and it shall come to pass afterward that I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's everybody, that's all nations to have me father and put in, you know, um the spirit upon people around the world to have dreams, you know, of, of tsunamis, of earthquakes, of um nuclear war, you know, of, of all hell breaking loose, basically, you know. I was reading them down. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Because when you get a dream and a vision, you're going to tell people of it, you know? And it's prophesied. It's, it's, it's you prophesying because guess what? That vision is going to come to pass. If the Lord give you a dream of the future events and it comes to pass, you prophesy when you told someone about your dream. You know, whether you're a man or a woman. Now, of course, you know, it's not the uh, not and the woman's lot to go out there and actually teach and prophesy. But if a woman has a dream, she could share that dream. Then when I drink on the past, she prophesied it basically because she let something could prophesy me what to tell before, to say before. So let's read on down. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions, you know. And I had a dream not too long ago. Other brothers had dreams. You know what I'm saying? People I know had dreams, you know, of the times is coming. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour my spirit. And I will shoot wonders in heavens, in the heavens, and in earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And you know, it's been a lot of like, you know, chariot sightings, a lot of like, you know, um, you know, videos of, you know, you see our Lord's face in the sky, you know, it was an earthquake in Mexico that happened. You know, you see blue lights flashing and you know, all type of stuff, man. Listen, we're here, man. You know, our Lord about to come back, you know, the parable of the fig tree, man. So let's read on down. And it says, uh, the sun shall be turned into darkness, you know, different eclipse. And the moon into blood, you know, before the, you know, super blood moons, you know, red moons, wolf moons, you know, all that I've been going on, man. And it says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh by Shem Shai have said, and in the remnant. Whom the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai shall call. So the Lord only calling a remnant, man. And out of that, in that remnant, the remnant gonna call upon Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and they're gonna get delivered, man. You know, like that is right for Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, the Israelites shall be deliverance. You know, so our Lord about to come back, man. The parable of the fig tree, man. We our Lord about to return. You see that as clear as day, but looking at the signs, we know we're getting closer and closer. So I'm in it right there, and I pray you to fire through spirit about Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. I want to give Gohan Lime La Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Lex God of the Broad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. Wa Baba Ba. Shalom.